Here we are today with a model overview of the Bar Crusher 615C. It's a cuddy cabin boat, folding roof and windscreen, it's a low storage under your carport and garage, good sized cockpit out the back, and loaded with all the serious fishing features you're going to want. Great serious fishing boat, great family day boat. Let's walk you through some of the features. For years we've been offering aluminium roofs on our Cuddy model boats. And what we've updated to recently is this completely new design which is more like our hardtop boats. You can see it's a thicker looking design with a double thickness, mounted on a strong targa bar. We've got rod storage up the top with a rocket launcher here which is fantastic for storing rods. Also an LED light underneath, areas to run wiring if you want to mount anything up on top. And the whole thing's surrounded with these clears which give you a really nice protected area inside the boat. More like a, a hardtop boat with glass windows, however it's fully foldable, clears are removable, fold it down, slip it under a low carport or garage. Let me show you how the roof folds. Firstly, under the little pelican clips both sides, pull out the R clips, and pull out the pins in the target bar. And what we do is we undo these quick release little ball studs here, Take the, uh, the front bar in your hand, make sure you've got the roof securely, and then walk back into the boat. Tilt the roof onto the target bar, make sure you've put some padding on your bait board, and then simply lower the roof down until it bears on the bait board and sits there nicely. And you can see there, you've got that below the cabin height, gives you opportunity to store it in a low garage or carport. And the last step is to fold the windscreen under the three windscreen latches. Take our windscreen support prop, fold the windscreen upside down, locate the prop in its little support under the dash, and then we are down to cabin height. This system is designed for storage only, not for towing. What sets Bar Crusher boats apart is our three iconic design features that run through the whole range. It's our wave slicer hull design, our quick flow water ballast system, and our rigid deck subfloor system. The wave slicer hull design is a strakeless smooth hull design that runs a deep V and it's designed to cut through wind chop smoothly. When you're out offshore and the wind comes up, you're going to be running through waves and you want to make sure you get a comfortable ride. We've also introduced in this model what we call our Gen 2 hull design. To explain the Gen 2, the Gen 2 has a, a delta flare we call it or a broken planing plank under the boat running from about here back to the transom and what that does is it gives the boat more lift. We've also increased the width of the chines and turned them down so they're negative and that turns down spray better so we get better hole shot, the boat jumps out of the hole quicker, it also planes more economically and the change, uh, chine design ensures that spray is turned down better. So you win on all fronts. One thing all bar crushers are known for is our rough water handling. When you're offshore in steep swelling waves you want a boat that not only planes through chop and, and waves nicely and gives you a soft ride but you also want great following sea performance. By following sea performance what we're talking about is when a boat's running downhill you want to make sure the hull is tuned and has enough lift up front so the nose doesn't bury. If the nose buries and the, the centre of gravity comes forward, the boat will steer on the nose and give you that awful broaching action. All bar crushers are tuned to minimise this and they run beautifully downhill. There are a lot of boats out there in the marketplace that have a fine entry and a wide transom on them. These are classic broaching hulls and we invite you to take our boat out in any conditions and test the boats and just see how well they perform. One of the iconic features in all bar crusher boats is what we call our quick flow water ballast system. How the water ballast works, it's open at the transom and has a cavity that runs up the centre of the hull. When the boat stops, water floods in, reduces the buoyancy and drops the chines down into the water, giving the boat great stability at rest. What it allows us to do is build a deeper V into the hull so we've got great rough water performance when we're running along and when we stop, we get great stability at rest. It works really well. We think all good fishing boats should be water ballasted. The guts of a good aluminium boat is a strong subfloor framing system. In Bar Crusher we call this Rigidec. Rigidec is a system that involves full longitudinal stringers that run from the floor down to the bottom plate of the boat. In this model there's six across the boat running full length and then what we have is cross frames between them. So that subfloor system is fully boxed and triangulated. When we drop the tread plate floor in on top and weld it in, the whole thing's triangulated, nothing moves, it's rigid as you like. When you're out and chop and swell, it's very important that your boat doesn't continually flex like an aluminium can because it will break. We see a lot of boats in the marketplace that simply don't have strong subfloors. 
When you hop in a bar crusher boat, you'll notice we weld the fuel tanks in. We do this for a very good reason. Not only does it seal the floor completely, but it also gives extra rigidity and strength to the boat. We see some boats on the market today that have a plate sitting over the fuel tank with a few screws and a bit of silicon. It simply doesn't give you that strength you need in a true plate boat. So watch out for pretend plate boats. Buyer beware. Let's look at the transom of this boat. Under the latch, you can fold down the rear seat. Great place to sit. Over here we've got our live bait tank. Got our dual batteries. Wouldn't go offshore without a second battery. Battery isolation switches. And over here we've got a clear bowl fuel filter. If you get any water in your fuel, you'll be able to see it there. And we've got a removable bait board in the back of the boat. We're gonna take that out, give it a clean, or leave it at home. You can also drop a ski pole into that hole if you wanna go skiing. The removable bait board has a piece of plastic that can be replaced if it gets chopped up over time. Drink holders, or a place to put your sinker when you're baiting up. Some rod holders in the back there, and a place to put your pliers and your knife. When you step into a bar crusher, something you'll notice immediately is the nice clean fishing space or working space in the boat. When you're out at sea and the boat's moving around a little bit, you don't want to be banging into things or tripping over things. If you look at the uncluttered cockpit here, works very, very well. If you step over to the side of the boat, stand up against the combing, you'll notice immediately, in terms of the ergonomics of fishing out of this boat, your toes are underneath, the combing hits you in the thigh just in the right place, you feel deep in the boat, you feel stable and secure and ready to fight a fish or gaff a fish. So when you hop in a bar crusher boat, have a look at just how clean the area is and how well it works. One of the first things you'll notice when you cast your eye over a bar crusher boat is the quality of the fit out and finish, and we ask you to look closely. If you look at the little things, like the rod holders here, machined cast aluminium rod holders, one of the first in the industry to do it, not cheap plastic or stainless steel. If you look around and have a look where we've used stainless screws, we usually use plastic washers or some sort of insulative barrier to ensure that the stainless and the aluminium don't fight each other. The little things that when you put your boat in salt water, give you low maintenance and a good long life. There are a range of seating options in bar crusher boats. This one's fitted with the 90 litre icebox option. Half opening lids, three tackle drawers in the side of the seat box, and a pivoting sliding seat with bolster. We can also offer an aluminium seat box in this boat with tackle drawers. Really important in a boat is a good helm layout. This is the business end of the boat where the driver has to drive the boat, look at the electronics and make sure everything falls to hand. If we look at this one, good real estate on the dash. You have a bigger sounder there if you want. Engine gauge, radio, control falls to hand nicely and you've got your switching for the boat including lighting, pumps. Also on the dash here we've got a SeaTech battery charging port. Great little feature. When you put your boat in the shed, if you're not using it, you can plug a trickle charger in there, keeps your batteries topped up. Let's have a look in the cabin. We've got bunks up the front here. If you lift up the cushions, you've got room for uh, safety gear underneath. You can also have infill cushions, so you can turn this into a nice V-berth if a couple of people want to lay down. You've got uh, storage up high in the pocket here. And up here, you've got a nice big front hatch. If you want to get through, get to the anchor, open this hatch, very easy to get through, good access. Another thing that sets a bar crusher boat apart is the quality of the wiring and plumbing. We invite you to have a close look at it. Take the, the back off the dashboard, have a look at the fuse board, have a look at how the wiring's tied back. Professionally made looms, tin wire, all done neat as a pin. What this means is that your boat will be low maintenance for many years into the future. One thing that's really important in a fishing boat if you're out at night is lighting. And in a bar crusher boat, we've got LED low current draw lights, one in the cabin, one under the roof, and a couple under the combings down the back over the full length storage cockpit side shelves. Make sure that cockpit is illuminated, but give you good vision outside the boat when you're out there at night. Bar crusher boats have always had a really low maintenance fuel system and a very safe fuel system in terms of the fuel tank is welded in the floor over the ballast chamber. If you ever got a leak in one, it can only go outside the boat. Quite unique. We've recently updated this fuel system to improve it even further. And what we do now is we've got a rear fuel filler so you can fill from outside the boat. We've got a fuel cutoff valve in the filler pipe that ensures you end up with an expansion gap in the top of the tank when your fuel expands on hot days. And we've also put an inspection port in the front of the tank. Quite unique, we haven't seen this in any other boat. What it allows you to do, if you want to see how much fuel you've got, you can open the bung in the front of the tank and have a look. If you get some bad fuel, you can siphon out of there. So it's a great system, it's low maintenance, there's nothing under the floor to inspect. Beware of a lot of other boats on the market which have a plate over the tank and there's hoses and hose clamps under the floor. If you ever get a leak, you'll get vapours or, or fuel slop, slopping around under the floor, can turn your boat into a bomb. Bar Crusher has one of the safest systems, we believe, in the world. Around the front of the boat, we've got an anchor well with a plate 
welded in the back to take an electric anchor winch. Also got a strong engineered bow sprit. And the Sarka anchor that comes standard on all bar crushers locates into that bow sprit, it's pulled back in and held in position. So when you're running out through a bar, you're not going to lose your anchor over the side. If we come to the back of the boat, full width swim platform made from tread plate, engineered, tied into the, to the engine pod for great strength. Heavy duty swim ladder, makes it easy to get in and out of the boat. We've also got a burly bucket and muncher built into the swim platform. Every bar crusher boat leaves the factory on a custom designed bar crusher trailer built by Easy Tow in Central Victoria. They're a really durable trailer, built strong, full ladder of keel rollers to support the keel weight of the boat, wobble rollers to keep the boat upright, and lots of guides and skids to make sure when you run that boat on, it's going to self level and self align and hit the winch post every time. And with a bar crusher trailer, you get high temperature grease, really good quality bearings, good quality tyres and wheels, and a wiring loom that's appropriate for submersion in salt water. And of course, every Bar Crusher trailer comes with our Bar Catch Launch and Retrieve system fitted as standard. So there's a model overview of the Bar Crusher 615C. The boats come fully packaged, but remember there are a few ways you can personalise them, depending on the type of fishing you do, type of horsepower you want, electronics on the dash, things like trim tabs and anchor winches. So get into a Bar Crusher dealer, have a look over one of these boats and take one for a ride.